A black bear trap waits to catch a mother and cubs on Jeff Lyons property. Two traps were set up after Lyons was attacked. Last Thursday, Jeff Lyons startled a mother bear with her cub when he came around the corner of his cabin. She then attacked him. He says he doesn't want to talk about it, but his sister remembers the moment he arrived at her house. He said, well, I guess you could say I'm lucky to be alive. The teeth marks in his shoulder on the right at the back. He also has them in the center, like just like holes. And then uh, the, on the side, his skin is all ripped off. So he said it just, it just grabbed me. It had me by the lower, um, under my ribs in the back. And it picked me up in the air and was just shaking me like I was a rag doll. And so he said I was still screaming and screaming, screaming. So finally it dropped, dropped him on the ground. Cheryl Dudley says her brother was able to grab a stick. And come at him again. And as it did, he took the stick and hit it like across the nose, nose area, kept banging it across. And so he said it, it backed off and ran in the woods. Well, it's very unusual for a bear to actually make physical contact with a person. So Kevin Craig person says fighting back is what you need to do if attacked. I don't really think there's too much he could have done any differently. He, he, he might have made con eye contact with it, but it seems to me that it probably already made the decision that he was too close and he was a threat. Bear attacks are so rare in New Brunswick, they make the news. In 2013, two different incidents were reported, both leaving the victims shaken and injured. Cheryl Dudley says her brother will never forget it. I would call it a, a near-death experience. Yeah, very traumatizing for him. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Route 8.